sitting down in front of the computer all day long is really bad for your health. Sometimes we have no choice. It's part of your job, you know, part of your life, like the writers and the people who work in the office and people who are doing the computer work, gaming, YouTubing, people who are doing blogging a lot. What can we do? I'm going to show you a few eye exercises, just helping the eye a little. Then we're going to go for the body. I would like to figure it out one by one as to how to tackle this. So we can do our job, do our, what we need to do, but we still don't jeopardize our health. I hope eventually I'm going to find a good solution. This eye exercise I didn't create it. We used to do in China. We have the universal health care. Health care prevention is really the focus. When we were in high school, we were forced to get up every morning at 6 o'clock and then we go run. We all complained. Oh, I was in the number one high school in the whole region. We all stay in the dormitory. Before we get into the exercise, let's have some pet talk. It's good that we exercise, we move around, work out the tension, increase our blood circulation, the blood flow. It's vital to your health, but more important, it's here. Your mind. Your mind is the most important thing. You need, really need to guard your mind. The mind control all aspects of your well-being. You regulate your body temperature, your hormone distribution, your thought process, your decision making. It also controls your movements. You work your mind well, you will go a long way. If you don't, it gives you all kinds of trouble. Exercise, massage, and all these relaxing technique it's a dramatic improvement of not doing anything at all or sitting not moving at all if you are in major distress or taking drug or alcohol all these um, totally clouded your mind no matter what kind of exercise do you no matter how much you do you would not feel good you will not make it you will still feel miserable you just have to work on your mind first that's why before we are doing exercise we're going to talk about the mind. Gordon Gekko said, it's all about the dough. The rest is conversation. I say, it's all about the rest. Another conversation. <laughs> we live in the real world. We deal with people. We deal with matters. Things come up. One way or another, it will affect our mindset. That flip us around, make us upset, make us worry, make us all tense up. And even the President of the United States, even more so, the things to worry about. It's just hard to avoid. We just have to learn to how to deal with it. There are so many, many books, magazines, and also online resources all over the place to cover this. For myself, Mr. Dale Carnegie's Stop Worrying, Start Living is my Bible. Everybody is different. Just like cooking, you just find whatever the best way to help you through the difficult time. Everybody go through hard time through their life. The best mindset for your well-being is just the same. The sense of well-being, a sense of happiness, fulfillment, abundance, and peace. We are all human beings. We all react to things. We all react to people. <laughs> just take the time. Try not to focus on things that you cannot change. In my life, actually, if you really look into it, it is miserable. There's a lot of things I cannot do. A lot of difficulties. I can't function like normal people. I've never matched up to them. I've been insecure pretty much a long life of my life after a lot of abuse during my teenage year. But I think I've learned to deal with it. I learned how to get around it. I cannot go every day think about the bad thing. All these misfortunes laid on my head one after another. I could cry the river thinking about it every day. But it's not going to change anything. It's not going to make you feel better. So you just have to focus on something that you can do and you can improve. Something that makes you happy. Just like investment, if people or things make you feel good, make you do better, you do more of these. Okay. Otherwise, you do less. Keep things simple, especially for those single people, single mom who don't have a lot of people around them or alone it's very important to keep reminding yourself who is the most reliable person in your life who's gonna be there 24 7 for you who is gonna wipe your tears support yourself motivate 
yourself. Who? Who is gonna be there with you? Thick or thin, and answer to your own calls all the time, no matter what. Yes, you can say God, Buddha, and whoever that you work through your mind and your faith. But in the end, who's gonna carry that out? That's you, yourself. Please, love yourself. Mm. Mm. Love, love, love. You don't need a lot of things to feel good. After all, shouldn't we be just happy that we're still alive? We got food to eat. We got shelter over our head. We don't need gazillion things to make us happy. If you really go that way, it will gonna make you very unhappy. Focus on something you can do, you can have. Don't let anybody anything to make you think otherwise. Do you think you're inferior to make you think you need more to be happy? Yes, of course, we're all human beings. We all be affected by things and people one way or another. Just take your time. Maybe it's not one hour, one day, two days, three days, one week. Eventually, you need to come back to your senses. If you lose your way, you got into the foggy, miserable situation, just find your strength somewhere. Find your guidance, find your tool, get back on track. You'll be so happy that you do. If your mind is working properly, have that sense of well-being, abundance, and happiness and content. You can work on everything else way better. Everything else will fall into place eventually. Things will go way smoothly when you have a clear mindset. I cannot stress that enough. It's not what you have or what you don't have. It's all about the mind. Please keep that in mind. Now let's just do the exercise. 